All right, next, we uh, question two is, how is it put? Describe the basic findings of Darwin that contributed to his theory of evolution. Uh, in order to do that, I should probably talk about things before Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. That part's important, the natural selection part. For instance, Lamarckism, or Lamarckism, not sure how to say that, but, well, Lamarck, um, believed that use or disused turned on or off some biological mechanism that they hadn't found yet in an organism. So, for instance, a giraffe reaching, you know, stretching its neck, those neck muscles would be logged in some sort of genetic memory and passed on to the next generation, telling the next generation, hey, we're going to be using these. Uh, you might want to grow these more in your embryonic phase. That turned out to be not to be the not to be the case. Um, Darwin postulated um, he he did this. Um, there's a myth about Darwin's finches. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the myth is, but apparently the finches didn't have anything to do with his actual theory, or he had the theory either. I think he proposed the theory before he even um, dealt with the finches. My point is, he noticed that animals are not better or worse. They're more adapted to their environments. Their environments, that's, that's different from Lamarckism or other theories. I'm uh, going back to the uh, uh, pre-Socratic era. Um, saying that things get better, like things advance. Natural selection changed the theory of evolutions that of evolution that was around, the different theories, that weren't accepted because they showed something like an evolutionary ladder. No, no, it's not a ladder, it's a tree. Um, natural selection is the by far the most important aspect of uh, Darwin's theory. And that's what changed everything. It's the grand unifying theory of biology. Uh, without that, nothing in biology really makes too much sense.